What's up you guys? It's your girl Castle Koi back on this channel with another video. If you don't read that title then you already know what today's video is going to be about. So without further ado, let's get right into it. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And if you haven't already, please make sure you hit that link tree link that's in the description box below so you can be updated on all Castle Koi content and so you can join my Discord server which is exclusive for all of my coils and where I'll be answering questions from now on. Also, if you haven't already, please make sure you join my Patreon which is currently only only a dollar and while I'll be uploading all builds and sims I make on this channel so now that we got all that out of the way let's get into this long awaited mods video since this video is a long overdue I'm just going to hop right into it and we're gonna of course start with cast mods today so the first mod I want to talk about is aesthetic traits mods by sims with shan this gives your sims the opportunity to have cute aesthetic traits to themselves and to their personality you have cool traits like cottage core e-girl or e-boy dark academia light academia baddie you even have traits like soft girl or old money so if you're like me and struggle to come up with storylines for your sims this can really help you out and it can also give you an idea of how to dress your sim if you guys want to dabble your hands in more realistic save files or if you want to do storytelling or if you just want to casually play with these traits i recommend this mod for all of the above this along with every other mod that i mentioned in this video will be tagged in the description box below let's move on to the next mod this next mod is a mod that I feel like everybody should have in their game, especially if you're able to, and that is the More Columns mod. I don't want to butch the creator's name, so I'm just going to have it on the screen, but this mod is just so convenient for me. So for context, I have about a 28 inch monitor, so when I just have the two little columns it just doesn't look pleasing to me one and two i have a bunch of custom content in my game as you can see i have a bunch of custom eye colors so just having those two columns if you can see in my previous video it just doesn't work well like i can't see anything so having more columns is it helps me it's a saving grace for me personally but other than that the mod is pretty self-explanatory in itself let's move on to some gameplay mods if you're a returner to my channel, you already know my favorite word during my mods videos is realism and realistic, and this mod is just that. So it's kind of like a small detail, but this mod is the Make Your Bed mod by Utopia. I believe that's how you pronounce that creator's name. If I got it wrong, please correct me in the comments. But this mod is very subtle. It's very cute. Your sim is basically making their bed. They're not full on like pulling the covers or anything, but they're like straightening up the bed which I think is really cute. It's also great for like storytelling because sometimes for these type of animations you need to download a totally different animation for something like this but to have it as a mod and just to have your sim do it every time they get out of bed or to have your teenage sims do it as a chore or something like that it just adds that little bit of realism into your game. So I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about it because it's pretty self-explanatory you guys can see it. So let's move on to the next gameplay mod. This mod is probably one of my personal recent favorites. Honestly, all the mods that I talk about on my channel, I personally, of course, download in my game and I use, but this mod specifically is probably one of my favorites right now. And this is the Self Manicure and Pedicure mod by Mercury Foam. So how you access this mod is pretty simple. You go in build by mode, you can type in polish, and then you have to go to the Mercury Self Manicure and Pedicure polish. So it's going to say homemade manicure nail polish override that's the one that you're going to want to use and you have to put it on a functional table or desk or some you just have to put it on something functional so the downloads for the manicure and the pedicure are separate so if you want both you do have to download the two separate files and they also come in different colorways i chose green because lyco's room is green um so once you click on it you could choose manicure and you could choose pedicure so the manicure you can only choose sitting down i believe and the pedicure you can do sitting in a chair and they have a bunch of different colorways for the manicure itself and a bunch of different styles you can do square you can do coffin you can do a pattern i do recommend setting up the nail polish in an open area because i have no idea why Lyco faced the wall but you know that's neither here nor there but as you can see it's changing the color of her nails the manicure and pedicure in itself is not really a long process like it doesn't take long at all to do it it's kind of a quick thing but i'm also going to show you guys 
besides the pedicure animation i like the manicure one but the pedicure one is my personal favorite Lyco is currently wearing stocking so you can't really see her like painting her toes but she got white toes white toes for the hose she got white toes and she's painting them herself but watch her pull out the file y'all that's my favorite part she pulls out the file for the toes She's not playing no game. Now one thing I would change about this mod is that they only do one hand and one foot. They don't do like both. But I really, really love this mod and it's probably gonna be the first one I link down in the description box below. So make sure you guys go download that and support Mercury Foam. They are amazing. They're an amazing creator. Let's move on to the next mod. So this mod is a mod that I've talked about before, but it was the reason and the cause for a lot of people's games to crash or not load properly. Only because there was a new update that came out that kind of conflicted with this mod, but now it's back up and running and it's updated. And that is the Life is Strange font replacement mod by Moonwood Mills. I honestly feel like this is going to be a permanent mod in my game unless another cool font replacement comes out. Like I've stated in my previous mod videos, this just goes so well with my pink UI and my plum bob recolor and my loading screen mod. Like it just ties all in together and the font just looks so cutesy and adorable with everything else in my game. It's very cutesy, very demure. Let's move on to some fall gameplay mods. So this mod is just in time for the fall and it includes one of my favorite fall activities, pumpkin carving. This is the pumpkin carving everywhere mod by Seriously Sims. This is also a combination of the pumpkin patch mod by Sims with Shan. And I'm going to talk more about the pumpkin carving everywhere mod instead of the Sims with Shan mod just because with the Sims with Shan mod it's a more of like decorations. If you guys want to see me make a fully functional pumpkin patch with her mods, I can. But we're going to talk about the pumpkin carving one just for a second so quickly in your build by mode you're gonna type in pumpkin and then you're gonna have the pumpkin carving station there's so many pumpkins you can choose from you have cockeye cat classic and all you do is click on it click which pumpkin you want to make i do believe all the pumpkins are 25 simoleons and you can just have your sim carve a pumpkin it's a really cute animation and i feel like it will make a really good event it's also not super fast like your sims actually take their time carving out the pumpkin taking out the guts and everything the animation is very detailed and thought out it also helps increase your sims skill so your sim can gain handiness skill by carving these pumpkins and again this is the carving pumpkins anywhere mod so you can really place this anywhere that's functional and your sims can use it like i said if you guys would like me to make a fully functional pumpkin patch i can do that just let me know in the comments and i'll upload it on my patreon so this is what the station is like so you can do a couple things you can light a candle in the pumpkin you can put it in your inventory you can view it you can also smash it which i thought is really cute i'm just gonna have Lyco smash the pumpkin and it's pretty much them just stomping on it Lyco's a little aggressive with it i think sister needs anger management but other than that, it's a really cute animation. I feel like it would be really good for storytelling. It would be really good if you guys want to take like fall pictures and post them on your fake Instagrams and things like that. Y'all, it's great. So along with the station, you also have another one that you could use. Originally, I thought it was like a seated one, but it's not. They have to be standing. So this activity is not something that your Sims can sit for. You can take the station and put it on any functional table or desk or counter. And your Sim can make a pumpkin on whatever functional surface you put the station on i hope that made sense to you guys but as you can see in the video it's just on a random table in the middle of the yard so if i were to put this in the house she could also carve the pumpkin in the house as well on any table or any surface but the key is that a chair or anything blocking the front of the table cannot be there like i said i originally thought this was like a sitting activity but it's not y'all it has to be standing up only so if you have a chair in front of the table or in front of the desk or anything like that it's not gonna work also pumpkin quality depends on skill as well as y'all can see her pumpkin was a very poor quality so it's not as good also this is the cat pumpkin so i'm guessing it requires more skill in order to be prettier falling back on the sims with shan mod the pumpkin patch mod that mod comes with a pumpkin patch lot trait i'm not really sure what it does because it doesn't have a description but 
it's just kind of there like i said y'all for like the third time if you guys want a pumpkin patch i can give y'all one because i feel like i'm gonna make one anyway just because i love pumpkin patches but that pretty much wraps up today's video i'm sorry if the last bit was a little bit confusing i tried to explain it the best that i could my closing message for you guys today is please go to class y'all i'm in college and i feel like i'm already having the blues of going to class like i'm so exhausted but y'all need to go to class be successful, be smart, and do your work. If you haven't already, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And if you haven't already, please, please, please make sure you join my Patreon. Because that's probably where I'm going to be putting my pumpkin pass. So make sure you join. It's only for a dollar currently. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Pass with Koi. Signing off.